Do you want some custom assigned roles in your Discord server? Well in this video, you'll learn how to make a neat and professional looking assigned roles menu for your Discord server, just like the ones which are on the screen right now. So I'm not going to make an assigned roles menu in this video, so if you haven't already watched my video on that first, on how to make an assigned roles, I'll put that in the card on the top right and then come back to watch this video. Now to show you that this menu works, you'll see that when I react it gives me a role. Right now I don't have a gender role and right here if I react with male, you'll see the male role here has appeared. When you make a normal assigned roles menu, you only get limited customization, but with this embed we will use, you will get a lot more freedom. So firstly, you want to go to this website, which is in the link in the description, and it's called Disco Hook. It's a bit of a weird name, but just go with it. And basically, it's just an embed website, and it just allows you to do quite a lot, and you'll see later on in the video the different features which it has. But you want to click the content box right here, and you just want to remove all of it. So select it, Control A and backspace and you can see all the messages up there have gone and the embeds here you just want to remove both of these because it's just explaining what the actual embed is but I'm going to go through it with you guys. So right now you just have a blank template which you can use. Now we aren't going to use the content box for this but to give it some customization we're going to use the username bar and also the avatar URL. So for the username which I'm going to use it's going to be fleets utilities. As you can see here it's appeared. And then the avatar URL, you can either get an image of the internet. So if I go here, type in, I don't know, Discord and go to images. You can see the Discord icon right here. If you open this like this, you right click and go to copy image address. You want to click that and then you want to put the avatar URL, you just copy it and you can see it's changed the icon. But I'm just going to use my icon for this. So that's the first part done. Now we're going to add the embed. So click add embed right here and it will add you to embed one. And you can see an arrow right here. If you click that, it will give you like a list of things down here. You don't want to use author because that's just basically a copy of this. And I don't think it looks as good because when you put it in, it just adds it to the embed. And I think it looks better outside. It looks a lot more professional. So we're going to go down to body. And here you can add a title, a description, a URL and a color. And we'll go through all of these things individually. So for a title, we can just add, for example, ping roles. You see this adds a bold message above. Now you can add a description. So you can put really whatever you want here. Okay, and then you want to add the emoji. So what they're actually going to react with. So you can use actual Discord emojis. So you can put a colon, you can put bell and then another colon it will add the emoji as you can see here so just give it a little bit of space and then if you press space you can add like a uh, a colon or you can add a dash whichever you prefer and then you want to put the name of the role so notification squad okay um and then we can choose a color so if you click this you have the color wheel so i think to match with the icon and basically my whole channel it's it's around a blue so yeah i think that looks all right you can also add a footer so i'm just going to write sub to fleet here just make it in capitals because it's really important and you guys should all make sure that you're subscribed as remember it's free and you can always unsubscribe if you decide to change your mind later on and oh yeah, as you're down there, like the video as well. Okay, so I would say you've done the hardest part. And now we're just going to move over to Discord. And go to your Discord server. So Fleet's Fantasy. And you want to go into your ping channel or your assigned roles channel. And you want to right click the channel and go to edit channel. And you want to go down to integrations. And you can see right here, it has a create webhook option, which basically just links the embed, which you made before into a role menu, which you've already made. So you want to click create webhook and you can just give it a random name. It just gives you some cool ones like Captain Hook and stuff. But you know, I'm just going to make it sub to fleet because yeah, it's really important. Uh, and then you click save changes and you want to copy the webhook URL. And you want to go back to your Google tab right here and go to webhook URL. I'm just going to copy what you just basically copied. And you want to click send this button right here. And if you go into your discord, you'll see it sent a message right here, which is the embed that you just created. So now we're just going to add the assigned roles into that embed. So you want to go to that embed sent. Just right click it and copy ID right here. You then want to go into the message here and you want to type in the command dash role menu create and then you want to put your group name for the role. So for me it's role menu which is upload so space upload and then you want to put space 
dash M and then you want to copy that ID and you want to just paste it here so paste and then when you press send it'll come up with this thing here and it just tells you to react with whatever emoji you want with the roll so for me it's going to be the bell so I'll click that on there you can see it's added the bell to the embed and that's when you know you've done it right so you can remove this one up here and you can remove these two messages and there you go you've just made your embed and I'm going to show you that this works by clicking that you see it's message me here giving me the role and then if I untick it I believe it removes the role which it has so that's how you know it's worked so that's the end of today's video if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and drop a like on the video as it all helps a lot. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!